If you're looking for a third row SUV with a ton of space and off-roading capabilities, you're going to want to check out the 2024 Ford Expedition. Today we have it in the Timberline trim and I'm excited to take my very first test drive in it. Let's explore. If you're interested in this Expedition, check us out at smellford.com. The exterior color of this Expedition is the Agate black metallic and if you get in there close you can see it whenever the sun hits it there's a little bit of metal flakes in there just making the vehicle pop look very clean around the front of the vehicle you have that blacked out grill with the led headlights and with the timber line here you're going to notice these color changes throughout as well as these hooks in the front so coming around the side of the vehicle first thing you'll notice are those 18 inch ebony painted wheels ford logo in the center coming down the side of the vehicle you notice those running boards to help you up inside because it is a little bit higher it comes with a three-year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain and a five-year 60,000 mile roadside assistance it has a 3.5 liter high output eco boost engine and a 10 speed automatic transmission you also notice the Timberline badging along the side that make this really stick out. Coming across the back of the vehicle, you notice the Expedition logo is blacked out, but also highlighted in behind it with that orange highlight. It's really cool. Ford logo back there as well as Timberline on the left-hand side. So walking up to the vehicle, I have the key fob in my pocket. If I just put my hand through the handle, it unlocks the doors. Let's say I wanna walk away. I just hit the ridges up here, doors are locked up. So when you first get the vehicle, you can also program it so that you don't need the key to get in. You just plug in the numbers and it'll open up the door for you. To get into the tailgate, all I have to do is press a button back here and we have an automatic power tailgate all the way up. We do have some space for storing things here. We have a second little compartment down here for your tow and some additional storage i could put down the left and right side of the back row or i could put them both down together so i'm just holding this button in it's electronic coming all the way down to a complete and total close we're going to see how much space is back there in a moment but you can see that this folds all the way flat to those seats and let's say i need even more space i'm just going to go ahead and put down there's actually three letdowns for these seats down here. So you can put the second row seats all the way down. You can put the middle row down. You can put the uh, left or the right down. So that's, that's really cool. You can do that all from the trunk here. Let's see how much space we have in that third row. Getting into the back row of seats here, we actually, this is kind of neat. It's catching my eye right now. Uh, I thought these were black seats. They're not, they're a deep cypress. They're a green with some orange stitching throughout here. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and put this seat forward, slides forward like so. And I can easily get into the third row. And there's a ton of space back here, guys. Look at this, these seats, they actually recline. They have reclining seats in this third row. That's really, really cool. I can get really comfortable back here. These seats do feel really plush. They actually have a cloth middle section. So, you know, you don't really have to worry about any of that uncomfortable cold leather uh, back here. On the left and right side, you can recline those seats. You have a cup holder and a USB back here. So we also have some ventilation up here. A lot of features back here in the third row. Let's jump up to the second row and see what we have up here. Getting into the second row, I have a nice little handle to help me up and closing the door maybe you can see it a little bit better here we the deep cypress is right here on the door itself with that silver trim and you have a black leather up here and the back of these seats are that deep cypress as well actually the entirety of those seats are in front of us here some charging options we have two usb-c ports right here we have a 110 three-prong house outlet as well as our AC settings for the back row. We have two cup holders above that as well. And we also, one last thing down here, I didn't even notice this, we have a 12 volt charger down there as well as a little bit of storage. Back of these seats also have some storage and we have additional ventilation throughout the vehicle as well as a little bit of storage on the doors. Really cool back seats. Let's jump up front and then we'll get this vehicle on the road.
So getting in the Expedition for the first time, it is obviously we have a lot of buttons and some screens in front of us here. I'm gonna start the vehicle up, put my foot on the brake, start the engine up. So we have a digital screen in front of us as well as two dials. The left dial tells you your RPMs, the right dial tells you your speed limit. And we have all of our gauges up here on the center. To switch between that, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the menu button here on the right side of the steering wheel. And you can view all this information up here, navigation, your phone, audio settings, normal settings, trip settings, towing information, vehicle info, it just everything is very easily displayed up there, as well as you can see your uh, safety features. Speaking of safety features, on the left side of this steering wheel, you're gonna find your safety features. You have your lane centering, as well as cruise control. You have your volume button for your radio, as well as a push to talk button. So you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in this car, and basically what you're able to do with that is connect to your phone, to make phone calls, to send text messages, to leave yourself reminders, use your navigation. You can do that all from the screen here, and that can be accessed through the push to talk button. So this is a giant 12 inch infotainment screen over here. You have all your audio, your phone, navigation, uh, other apps as well on here. Obviously we talked about the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto uh, and different settings that you can display up here. Pretty easily accessible right there. So you actually have zone lighting in this vehicle too. So if you're out there and you're camping, you can set the lights around the exterior of the car to go off however you like. You can do all of them at one time. You can do one side of the vehicle if you're just on one side or select just like that. That's really cool for just, you know, if you are camping, if you're in a place where there's not a lot of light, great option to have. Below that, you have your idle engine shutoff button, four-way flashers, your stability control. So down below that, in our little compartment here, we have a USB-A, a USB-C, and a wireless charger. I'm just gonna put my phone right there. And just like that, it's going to charge my phone. We have two cup holders here, as well as a little sideway storage. You could probably put some uh, pencils, writing utensils in there. You have your shifter up here. Obviously it's a dial shifter. You just put your foot on the brake and switch between park reverse neutral drive and manual there. So down here, we obviously have our four wheel drive settings. We have 2H, 4L, 4A, and 4H, as well as our different drive modes. Let's take a look at those. We have normal, slippery, sand, and mud ruts, great for off-roading. We have eco mode for your fuel efficiency, sport mode, and we have the tow haul mode. So a lot of different driving modes that you can use in this vehicle. We have a gigantic armrest here. You can see this top part can slide around. It has nice for loose change and things like that. You have a gigantic, just tremendous amount of space in here. This goes all the way past my elbow down in here. And it's just a tremendous amount of space. You have a 12 volt charger down there as well. Over here, you have a 12 volt charger as well as some hidden compartments for storage right here. There's a top glove box and obviously your normal glove box there. It's just nice to have a little bit extra storage. And speaking of extra storage, you have a little compartment for your sunglasses right there. You also have your different light settings up here and auto dimming mirror up here as well as if you look right here, we have three garage door opener options. A lot of features on this vehicle. Let's go ahead, get it out on the road and test some of them out. Getting it out onto the highway, I'm gonna go ahead and All right, and that 3.5 liter engine getting us up to speed just like that. And I know we're up to speed because I can see the speed limit here on the dashboard. You can actually see the, the sign comes up. I went ahead and switched us over into sport mode. We're gonna go ahead and get this up to speed, hit the gas. Oh boy, holy cow. So I believe that also engaged the four wheel drive as well. And that got us up to speed super quick. I could feel us really gripping the road a lot more and getting us up to speed. I heard the, the engine, the engine really uh, coming into play here in the Timberline. I absolutely love that. Definitely feels like a sportier ride for sure. All right, turning radius time. Let's see. Yep, and just like that, we stayed within those two 
lanes there. No problem with turning radius, even though we are in a larger vehicle. Do I have a vehicle coming up on my blind spot here? Whenever they enter the blind spot, a little light comes on. And if I turn on my turn signal like I did there, it's then flashing at me, alerting me, hey, don't make that left-hand turn. There's somebody in your blind spot. You're going to crash into them. I love having blind spot monitoring on uh, especially larger vehicles like this because sometimes you can't always uh, see how far back your vehicle goes, but this is looking out for you. So above 45 miles per hour, I see lane centering has activated there. I'm just going to go ahead and inch over here to the left side of <laughs> the road and it's actually just turning the wheel and keeping me within the lines of the road. There's also a little alert on that dashboard that comes up on the left hand side whenever I move over there. It turns the little line beside the vehicle from green to orange just to alert me. All right, time to check out the backup camera. I'm gonna go ahead and put the vehicle into reverse right here. And we have projected lines, right? So if I turn the wheel, it's actually showing me where the vehicle is going to end up. Obviously there's a uh, little middle section for the tow hitch. And if we come back here, I'm gonna go ahead and get up close to this F-150. You can actually see the sensors going off here alerting me the closer that I get. Hey, pay attention. There's something behind you. I can look straight down and really line up the tow hitch if we have one on the vehicle as well. It's really easy to see why the Ford Expedition is a third row SUV that people love to take camping and take on trips. A lot of space in here. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments section below. We'll make sure to get back to you or you can come see us. We have a brand new Ford showroom right off Route 30 in Greensburg, or visit us online at smailford.com. Until next time, enjoy the ride.